My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. The boiling hot desert of southern Utah is home to the fastest slithering snake in the entire United States, the Coach Whip. Not only are they the fastest, but they are also one of the longest snakes in the U.S., reaching lengths of up to 8 feet long. And catching one without getting bit, let alone catching one at all, is really, really hard. Okay, this is the infamous Coach Whip, a snake that you do not want to mess with if you catch one, because they, despite being non-venomous, will not hesitate to bite, and I took probably, I don't know, 20 bites from this snake, and I'm bleeding all over the place, but it is so worth it to see this incredible predator. So, how did I spot this snake? It has incredible coloration, so it can blend in super well while it's going super duper fast. But I saw it because I saw this lizard, a whiptail lizard, I've seen a ton of them out here, and this is a lizard eater. This is a common predator of all the lizards that you can find out here, and Sure enough, this lizard runs out, and this giant snake is chasing it. Um, they're most often seen at probably around mm, three feet. This one I'd say is a good two and a half. No, this is about a three. What do you say is about three and a half feet? It was really bite earlier, and now I'm feeling much more confident about holding this snake. So this is in the colubrid family, the same family that almost all the other snakes out here are in, except for rattlesnakes. They're in a separate family. So this guy is not too much of a different snake than what I'm used to seeing. So as I said earlier, these guys are lizard eaters, but they will not hesitate to eat other reptiles, such as other snakes. Uh, so in the sense, this guy is almost like a cannibal. I mean, they will eat other snakes, other species of snakes, smaller coach whips, but on a scale of zero to five, zero being completely harmless and a five being like super vet vet venomous and deadly, uh, I would rate this as a zero. Non-venomous, it's not something you need to be afraid of. And I think it's really cool because it's so smooth. It's a really smooth snake. It feels almost exactly like the racers that I catch uh, up in northern Utah. So does this snake make a good pet? No, not even close. Now, first of all, you won't see these guys out in the pet trade. If you do, it's probably a wild caught one, which should never be kept as a pet. This is not a good pet snake. You see one of these guys out in the wild, just leave it out in the wild. If you want to interact with it, just be careful, be nice, and then let it back out into the wild. Um, these guys are not meant to be pets. Thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the Coach Whip. I'll see you next time with possibly an even cooler snake. Peace out. This was a moment I'll never forget, because finding a snake is one thing, but seeing such behavior of one on the move after its prey is a whole different experience. It almost allows you to see nature in action. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn more about this species, click the link down below where you'll find an extended version of this episode on Facebook. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.